What's good, thing This is a volley. It's Death Hog. Welcome to Lock and Loadout Episode 1 on Battlefield 4. If you guys remember the original Lock and Loadout, that was on Black Ops 2, and that only lasted a few episodes. And I wasn't the best at that game. I mean, yeah, it was good, but I want to say I'm a lot better at Battlefield, and I'm in Division 1 of skill, so I think I know what I'm talking about. I mean, I'm not level cap, but I can give you some good info on how to use this gun. Alright, so let's jump right into the test range. Alright guys, the AK-12 on the left has no attachments, the AK-12 on the right is the uh, class that I'm going to be showing you in this video, and as it looks, it has a lot more vertical recoil, but that's good, it makes it easier to control as opposed to the normal AK-12 which has side-to-side -side recoil. Reload speed empty is 3 seconds, reload speed with at least one bullet in the chamber is 205 seconds. All the hip fires are pretty good, but if you want to be the most accurate, you're going to want to use the semi-auto if you're hip firing because it is very, very good. Alright guys, the full class setup is going to be the AK-12 obviously with the hollow sight, and if you want to change it up, you can go with Cobra, and I love the, any of the laser sights, I just like the green ones to blind people, the heavy barrel and the potato grip. Potato grip is really good, and the heavy barrel does help reduce the recoil, but if you want to switch out heavy barrel for muscle break because you get that increased damage, and I think it does lower the recoil just a little bit, but I'd rather have potato grip because I like the way it controls. And you can whatever camo you want on there, and bam, that's the most optimized AK-12 that I feel works. Alright guys, in these next clips, you're going to see how accurate this is in semi-auto mode. Like, look how far that guy was. And then this next guy, through the fence, I got him with the semi-auto mode. So if you're good with the semi-auto, definitely, if you have a good trigger finger, slap on the semi-auto and you are just, it has so low recoil that it's amazing. Now we can see the hip fire in action right here with the green laser sight. And it's amazing for close quarters because it has a nice fire rate and it's so good for uh, piecing together kills and I can't believe how I got this kill through my teammate and finally he's gonna see this clip of me shooting and I stay on, on target on while the uh, building is exploding and I de definitely recommend this class to anybody that's has all this stuff unlocked, I mean you can mix and match some stuff, you can switch the grip, you can switch the, the sight, and overall I'll give the AK-12 a 9 out of 10. In the comments below guys, let me know what your favorite AK-12 setup is, so let me know if this setup worked for you, and as always, deep fire that like button, and that subscribe button. It's been Death Hog, I'm out.